right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal try and finish an opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. It's easy folks. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Golden! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, not fair. You ready? You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Missed with that attempt. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. You're in the clinch. You go to the body. That's oh, you're yeah. Great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Right punches there. Big body kick lands. Oh, 
How about that shin? Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And there comes the separation now. Nice punch by Lee. Just misses with the jab there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with this beautiful leg kick. Checks that leg kick. The takedown is not there. Oh, big kick land. Straight right counter. And they separate. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. This striker has come out swinging, and he's a very aggressive guy, but you got to be careful, I would think, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you got to slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can... Oh, this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high because the opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get... Heavy on his leg. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? That's such a fast leg. Back and forth we go here! And he landed the right hand there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Single collar tie now. Straight punch lands. Final seconds here. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. You should really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Damaging strike there. Adam Warkin at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh, 
just out of range with that strike. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Not there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Watch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Here's the kick blocked by Lit. Way to hide that leg kick. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Just out of range with that right hook. Big leg kick lands. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Can't take many of those, you better check. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Beautiful strike. Powerful leg kick lands. Big kick lands. Nice leg kick. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. And forth we go. That one's not in. Nice strike. Leg kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Ooh, big shot land. just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. What a tricky head kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Great punch. Ooh. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Seconds winding down in round two. Checks the light kick. Yeah. Oh, he the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Out there. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pads in the gym have paid off. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lee's 
kick to the body is blocked. Pretty good right hand. Big kick land. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, big punch land. Checks the leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Single collar tie. Nice straight punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lee's back in half. Goal. Close guard. Oh, nice work from the box. Tags him with the punch. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Back to his feet. Three minutes. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice strike. Staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice leg kick land. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clip. Both guys appeared to land there. Series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Side control now. Lee's now trying for the Kimura. Grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Bruce the Dragon! celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys sort of waiting to exhale get a huge win tonight and not just the win but they get it by submission they knew what they had in front of them they knew how tough a competitor his opponent was but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground they could find a submission they found a submission he got his hand